This lesson deals with symbols and units. You can find these notes in the ECE 201 ebook in Chapter 1, starting on page 1. The course ECE 201 is a course in circuit analysis and design. In order for us to do this, we're going to have to start out with some definitions. We're going to build on those definitions to eventually we can analyze circuits and design them. Circuits process signals that carry information. A circuit is a special interconnection of electrical devices. And a signal is either a current or a voltage that carries information or energy. An interface is a pair of accessible terminals at which signals may be observed or specified. In circuit analysis, the circuit and the input signals are given, and the objective is to find the output signals. The object of circuit design is to devise one or more circuits that can produce a prescribed output for a given set of inputs. We'll take a look at an idea called the evaluation process. And this involves appraising alternative circuit designs using criteria such as cost, power consumption, and even part count. In the course, we're going to use the international system of units, and let's review what those are. Length, in our basic unit will be meter, abbreviated with a small m. Mass in kilograms, abbreviated kg. Time in seconds, abbreviated with a small s. Electric current in amperes, and a symbol of capital A. Temperature, Kelvin, capital K. And luminous intensity, candela, or CD. Now, from these basic quantities, we can define other quantities. An example would be the frequency in hertz. The formula for that is 1 over seconds. Numerical values in engineering range over many orders of magnitude. The way we're going to deal with this is to assign a prefix to a power of 10. And we'll do this in multiples of 3. Here's a list of prefixes that we commonly use in electrical and computer engineering. Let's start out with this first one here as 10 to the minus 18th, pronounced addo, small a, 10 to the minus 15th, femto, small f, 10 to the minus 12, pico, small p, 10 to the minus 9th, nano, small n, 10 to the minus 6, micro, usually the Greek symbol mu, milli, 10 to the minus 3, small m, kilo, 10 to the 3, capital K, mega, 10 to the 6th, capital M, giga, 10 to the 9th, capital G, and then tera, 10 to the 12th, or capital T. To put an answer in engineering notation means that you pick the prefix so that the quantity of interest is between 1 and 1,000. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose that a frequency of 3.77 times 10 to the 4th hertz. This would be in scientific notation. I could write this as 37,700 hertz, or as 0 0.0377 megahertz, or I could move this decimal place over three places and get 37.7 kilohertz. Now, all of these are equal, but in this course, it'd be best to use the results right here in this last case of 37.7 kilohertz. In all the tests and homeworks for this course, we'll have two things with our answers, units and engineering notation. Take a look at an example. Suppose that on a test, eight students gave us the following answers. 3.77 times 10 to the fourth, 37,700, 0.0377 meg, 3.77 times 10 to the fourth hertz, 37,700 hertz, 0 0.0377 megahertz, 37.7K, and 37.7 kilohertz. Although all these answers are equivalent, only student number eight would be considered to be correct and get full points. This answer has the correct unit in hertz, and the prefix was selected to put the base number between one and a thousand. Again, we call this engineering notation. And these are some of the ideas with symbols and units that we're going to be using in ECE 201.